it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if that's your vibe, please consider hitting subscribe. And today I'm taking it back OGK beauty style. And we're talking about Cosrx Advanced Snail line. Yeah, I think for a lot of us, the Cosrx Snail Essence was one of our entry points into Korean skincare. I know it was one of them for me. I have a few, but it definitely played a big role in my early Korean skincare journey. And throughout the years, Cosrx has slowly been, you know, evolving their advanced snail line. And I realized I have actually tried all of these products and I think it's time for me to share my full thoughts on the entire Cosrx Advanced Snail line and really tell you which products are worth it and which products are not. So if you're so ready, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. Let's start off with the Hero products. These are the ones you must try. And let's start with the Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence, where it all started, right? Now, this is really one of the most popular snail products out there. This product has really taken the world by storm. And as like annoying as it can be sometimes when things get so popular, I really do believe that this product deserves the hype that it gets. And in my opinion, this is really one of the best examples of like a pure, for lack of a better word, pure snail product. Because when you look at the ingredients here, you'll notice it's incredibly minimal. We do have 96% of snail secretion filtrate and not much else, which means this product is going to be a great example of what snail can do for your skin. You know, snail is a wonderful wound healer. It is a great antioxidant, making it particularly good um, for well aging. Um, snail has actually demonstrated that it can help Help repair photo damaged skin. It's a wonderful anti-inflammation ingredient, so it's also great for acne prone skin. And overall, it just hydrates your skin so incredibly well, which who of us don't need more hydrated and plump skin, right? So that's what you can expect from Snail. And like I said, this is really one of the better examples of just putting like a nice high percentage of Snail without any other, you know, like, you know, co-stars to this product, right? Just putting Snail on your skin and really being able to isolate the benefits that it gives you. Now let's talk about texture. Um, this is like a nice hydrating gel texture. It spreads across the skin really nicely. You're going to notice a lot of hydration um, as you put it onto your skin and just like a little bit of balance to this like a little balancing moisture it's not like heavy it's not oily or anything but it just has that little bit of like hydration and a little bit of of moisture to it now this is not slimy it is not sticky. It is not tacky. If you kind of like pull your fingers away from the product, like on the back of your hand, you're going to notice that there's a little bit of a stringiness, almost like mozzarella cheese as you pull the first slice of pizza away, right? Um, but it's not actually translating to a sticky or a tacky or a slimy feel on the skin. So if you've never tried snail before and you're like, is that going to feel really gross on my skin? Not at all. It's just a really nice hydrating gel texture. Now, now, this is called an essence, but feel flexible about how you want to use this in your routine. You definitely can put this right before a serum, but honestly, this is so good on its own. It could really replace your serum if you're just looking to streamline and simplify your skincare routine. So feel free to use this however you want to. And, you know, be confident in the purchase of this because this is such a great value just on how long it lasts. My bottles last me when I'm using it like every single day, four to six months. Like this is the bottle that will not quit. You know what I mean? So I just personally think it's a great value. I think it's a great example. If you just want to isolate like snail on your skin, this is a great way to do it. It really is the product that put Cosrx on the map. And I definitely believe this is a hero product in the advanced snail line. Now, another hero product is the advanced snail 92 all in one cream. Now this has a really delicious snaily texture, but let's really dive into what matters here, which is how it feels on the skin. So this has that same kind of like hydration, slightly balancing kind of feel like the essence does, but just in a slightly like thicker gel cream type of texture. As you get this onto your skin, it's going to feel hydrating, a little bit balancing. It's going to immediately sink 
into your skin. It's not going to have any shininess or greasiness at the top of your skin. It's going to feel really light and breathable. It's got just a little whisper of occlusivity, like it locks down the rest of your skincare in just a really nice light easy way but it will make your skin feel so deliciously silky soft omg <laughs> like it's just it's amazing it just really transforms and conditions your skin in such a beautiful way and it also just like plumps it up with lots of hydration too so it's got a really nice effect on the skin we've got 92 percent of snail secretion in here and really not much else you know just a few humectants in here a few kind of like cream elements in here but this is really nice and light really really hydrating really silky soft and with a really fun texture Texture. And you know, this is actually a cream that's like not appropriate at all for my skin type, which is combination slightly more on the dry side, dehydrated and sensitive. This is not quite enough heft in a cream for my particular skin. It's not enough occlusivity for my personal skin, but I still actually really like this. So my first recommendation on this cream is going to be for those of you who are a little bit more on the oily side. If you're oily and like a little bit dehydrated, but not severely dehydrated, it, I do actually think your skin is really going to enjoy this cream. So that's my first recommendation. But I'm actually a big fan of this. And like I said, it's not enough for me. So my second recommendation is actually just like be flexible with the use of this and think of this as a multi-purpose cream because this is amazing as a light neck cream and chest cream. It really plumps up the skin, makes it feel really soft and moisturized, but not overwhelmed. You know how this skin kind of just doesn't take skincare the way your face does. So this is great for that. You can actually use this like a really affordable, economical eye cream. Snail is an amazing ingredient around the eye because it's so reparative. It's so plumping. It's so hydrating. It's got so many antioxidants in it. It even has um, some really wonderful like um, compounds for the skin like copper peptide, like just naturally in it. So it's just naturally a great ingredient for the under eye area. I've seen a lot of people use it that way, but I just use it like a boost to my everyday moisturizer, like an emulsion product. Put this on first and then just top it off with a heavier cream. I get all the snail, I get all the plumping, I get all the skin conditioning benefits. Now the next two products are true deep cuts in the advanced snail line. I think if you have just scratched the surface of snail, like with the first two products I talked about, then I think it's time to graduate onto these. They still showcase and use snail beautifully, but they're doing it in a little bit of a different way. So the first product is the advanced snail peptide Tide eye cream. Now, as I mentioned, snail is an amazing ingredient for the under eye area because it is a strong antioxidant. It's got great wound healing abilities. It's a wonderful well aging ingredient. And in fact, you know, snail actually has the ability to really help to protect the skin from uh, the collagen degrading, like especially from UV exposure and free radical damage. So that's really important. You know, when you're talking about well aging and fighting fine lines and wrinkles, we're always talking about stimulating collagen, like producing more of it, but it's also important to protect it, right? And snail is one of the ingredients that can really do that. So that's why it makes sense in an eye cream, but it's not just about putting snail underneath your eye area. And if you were like, hey, that all in one under eye trick seems interesting, but I don't know, I think my eye area needs a little bit more. That's where this comes in because this is taking the snail and combining it with peptides. So we have copper tripeptide one, which is, I always say, one of the best peptides out there. And it's actually really well known for helping to stimulate collagen production. So it's a great one for the under eye area. This also has acetyl hexapeptide eight, which really helps to target, um, you know, when you get fine lines and wrinkles, when you move your face, like when you smile and your under eye area might get a little bit more like you know, like a little more creepy maybe. Uh, acetyl hexapeptide 8 really helps to smooth that out and kind of help that from, from happening. Then we also have Matrixyl and Matrixyl 3000. Another, um, you know, grouping of peptides that can help with collagen stimulation, but they can also help to improve the look of existing fine lines and wrinkles and help with the elasticity and firmness of the skin. So this is a great combination of peptides right here in this formula alongside of snail, which we already know and love. And the texture is really great too, because it's this kind of like airy 
kind of a cream. You can feel a little bit of that snail to it. It's a little bit more moisturizing than the all-in-one cream. It really helps to plump up and hydrate the under eye, moisturize it, protect it, but it's not like really rich and greasy at the top. It doesn't feel heavy around the eye area. It's got really quick and good absorbency. And honestly, it's really one of my favorite eye creams, like not just in the like context of snail, like just in the context of eye creams. This is one of my favorite, you know, products out there and snail like it's just like it just takes it over the edge you know what i mean it's definitely a unique ingredient but it definitely does benefit the under eye area next up is the advanced snail radiance dual essence now if you loved the original cosrx snail essence but you kind of just wish that it was oomphed up a little bit maybe had a little bit more moisture maybe it helped to brighten up your complexion what if you took that and added those benefits in what would you get well, you would get the Advanced Snail Radiance Dual Essence, of course. <laughs> That's exactly what this product is. This is a dual chamber essence, and on the first side, you're going to see the OG Snail Essence. Nothing has changed here. We all know and love that. But in the second chamber, this more milky texture, we've got some more lightweight, but a little bit more moisture, and we have 5% of niacinamide. So we're definitely getting a strong brightening benefit from niacinamide. We're also going to be getting um, some moisture barrier strengthening from 5% of niacinamide and collagen stimulating benefits. So not only is this going to, you know, oomph up the snail in regards to brightening, but it's going to oomph up the snail in regards to well aging. So if you want to like supercharge it and go to the next level, that's where this essence comes in. And you see why this is like a deep cut, but I think this is such a good product. So when you pump it out, you're gonna have to do a little mixing on the back of your hand before you apply it to your face. And you're going to feel all that beautiful, hydrating, plumping goodness that you're used to with the OG essence, but then you're gonna feel a little bit more moisture. It's not heavy and it's really not greasy, but there's just that little bit of skin nourishment that you're gonna get from this because there's a few lighter weight oils that have been been um, introduced into the mix. They're not greasy, but they just kind of help comfort the skin just a little bit more. It still has really good absorbency. It is still not sticky or greasy or tacky or slimy. It still has a great texture um, and it still really hydrates but brings more moisture into the skin. It feels really great. I really enjoy it so, so much and it really plumps up your skin. And after using this for um, for a good amount of time, you're gonna to start to notice that your skin is gonna to start to feel firmer too, and it's going to be a lot brighter. This works so, so good. So yeah, this is just taking the OG and bringing in some more supportive ingredients that really up up the ante and up the benefits. Next up are the skippable products. These are the products that you really don't need if you are short on funds or short on face space. And I wanna start off with the Advanced Snail Mucin Gel Cleanser. Now, I do wanna give you a heads up. Uh, everything that we've talked about in this video so far has been fragrance free. And generally speaking, the snail line doesn't contain artificial fragrance or essential oils. This product does have some artificial fragrance in it. So sensitive skin, beware. Um, and the pH of this is a little bit um, higher than what I would personally prefer it to be. You know, I love a cleanser with a pH of 5.5. That respects the pH of human skin and generally uh, is going to result in a more gentle cleanser that is not going to strip your skin of moisture. This one comes in around 6, maybe 6.5. Um, it's really not too terrible terribly high, but it is still a little bit higher than what I personally prefer. So let's talk about the cleanser itself, the texture. This is a, a jelly type of cleanser. And I think you'd probably expect that something that has snail in it would have kind of that sort of bouncy, kind of hydrating sort of feel to it. It feels really nice on the skin. It like envelops your skin with this really beautiful slip. It feels like a hydrating type of cleanser. You know what I mean? Um, it's got some nice low foam to it. And it's actually, you know, I don't really love fragrant skincare just because of my sensitive skin, that's why. Um, but I do enjoy the scent of it. It's like a lemon balmy kind of smell that I found really pleasant. However, uh, it's a little drying for my skin. I'm very sensitive. I'm very sensitive to any pH higher than 5.5. So that's just my personal experience. And that's 
you know, that's part of the reason for me why it's not a big recommendation, but a bigger reason why I'm going to say this cleanser is skippable in the context of the entire advanced nail line. Like, let me just justify my opinion here for a second. The reason why I'm saying that is not because of those more personal reasons like the pH and the fragrance and, and all of that. I'm just saying it that I don't think that this is a really great example of what snail can do for your skin in your skincare products. And it's just simply due to the fact that it gets washed down the drain. It doesn't stay on your face, right? So like I said at the top of this segment, if you're short on funds, you know, and you really want to incorporate snail into your skincare routine, this isn't the way to do it. Next up, I want to talk about the Advanced Snail Mucin Power sheet mask and I was so excited to get these because snail in a sheet mask is always a good thing right um, and I ordered these recently and I was really disappointed when I got the box <laughs> because I've noticed that the ingredients of these have changed um, over the last year and I did not know that when I ordered these. And unfortunately, this is um, containing an ingredient that I can't put onto my sensitive skin. So um, these actually do contain an essential oil. We have tea tree leaf oil in these sheet masks. And as I mentioned, I have sensitive skin. I do have a particular sensitivity to essential oils and I don't play that game. I'm not like taking any risks with my skin. So I actually did not put this sheet mask on my face and I was really disappointed because I was so excited um, but I did you know play around with it a little bit because you know I had to get in there and see what this was all about it's a very juicy sheet mask and the essence is not the light watery uh, type of sheet mask essence that you're probably more used to. Um, it's definitely got more of a gel, jelly type of feel to it, which definitely makes sense with snail, right? So it's got a little bit more of a, a thickness to it with the mask. And um, it really, it, I mean, like it feels like it has a really good amount of hydration in it, but it definitely has a little bit of a thicker feel on the skin too. So just be aware of that. If you like your light hydrating um, types of sheet mask, this probably isn't it. This has a little bit more heft to it and it's going to put a lot of hydration and a little bit of moisture into the skin so just be aware of that um, but it felt very nice um, the smell it wasn't really strong I don't even know why there's an essential oil in here it wasn't bad but the ingredients on here did change and kind of like with the cleanser like I said it's not that this is a particularly bad product because of my you know like my my skin and, and the fact that it doesn't suit me I just again don't think this is the best example of what snail can do in skincare. I don't even think this is the best snail mask out there, right? Um, and in the, the whole ranking of the other products, this definitely falls to the bottom of the list. But I quickly want to talk about an alternative to that sheet mask in the advanced snail line. If you're somebody like me with sensitive skin and you don't like to play around with potentially irritating ingredients, my suggestion for you is the advanced snail hydro gel eye patch. Now I recently named these um, one of my favorite products in January because I love these and you know I love snail underneath my eye area so these are a great hydro gel that can really plump up and refresh your under eye area very quickly but the reason why I wanted to name it as an alternative to the sheet mask is the sizes of these eye gels are very unique so we have this larger under eye and cheek patch. <laughs> it fits underneath your eye, but it also fits um, a, a good amount of your cheek. You could also turn these to the side and have the curved area go around your nose and even hit more of your cheek area. And then we also have this smaller crescent size, which is great for targeting. Maybe you want to plump out like a line um, on your forehead or maybe like around your mouth or something, or even just as a very, very tiny little um, hydro, uh, hydrogel underneath your eye. These sizes are so multitasking and if you use the cheek patches, it's almost like doing a sheet mask. You're getting all of that snail goodness with a hydro gel, you know, targeted right into your skin, being held there and really, you know, aiding the absorption of it. So if you're like me with sensitive skin, you can't use any fragranced ingredients, but you kind of want that snail masking experience. One option in the advanced line is these eye gels. They're not just for underneath your eyes. 
So you have to tell me all of your favorite snail skincare products. Let me know in the comment box below, whether it's from Casa Rex or not, because you know I'm all about that slug club life. I love a good snail skincare product. Now, if you love this video, but you have not hit subscribe, before you go, please consider hitting subscribe. I do release a lot of new skincare videos just like this one. So consider turning on notifications too, so you're never out of the loop when I post the new videos throughout the week. I hope you are healthy, happy, and safe. I can't wait to talk to you in the next video, and I'll see you soon. Bye.